All right, let's do more Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. I don't remember. If, I think I changed the clock back, potentially. Well, that means the store is open for another hour, which I guess is fine. I haven't done much stuff at night, so I can figure it out as we go. Yeah, okay, the time is my time. The most wonderful thing, the Able Sisters Tailor and Shop Open. I have a clothing store. Okay. Nothing else new other than that. So, I mean, the village is full. Oh, yeah, right, I was wearing this. I'll be creeping through on October 31st for Halloween, my dear pumpkins. Until then, contemplate this portrait. Oh. Rank B. Right, we have these. I don't think I've ever experienced these. Okay, well... I have all these fish to sell. Cause that player should be... Finally, <laughs> some music that sounds okay. I wonder if the clothing store's gonna close in a minute. Wait, what did I just do? I must have done something. Maybe register songs. I wouldn't be surprised if that's it. Leaf is here, they're still open. Get another one of those. <laughs> the insanity of that fish. Oh man. I was losing my mind. Just saying. I 
mean, I guess the ship's already sailed. Candy? Use that for anything. Okay. Damn it, they just closed. Oh, you're here. Hitty toot, and a very good evening to you. Are you a resident of this island? Aha. Uh -huh. You must be the famous Will. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Celeste. Perhaps you've met my brother Blathers. He's a museum curator. You'd know if you had Blathy er er. My brother likes to go on and on about everything. It's quite endearing. Assuming you're not in a rush. Oh. But there I go, getting distracted. Came here to examine the night sky at Blathers' suggestion, but. So much better than I did hope. Each star is as clear as a, and distinct as it had been drawn by hand. I wonder if you might even see a shooting star. Have you ever made a wish upon a f falling star? Stars above falling all the way to the earth just to hear out our wishes. Isn't that a lovely romantic idea? Okay. We've got a DIY recipe. It seems, it seems there's a magic wand if you make a wish. And give it a wave. Become a whole new. Jot it down the recipe. Okay. Well, I mean, the clothing store might be closed, but at least I might be able to get this tonight. The shooting star. Thank 
just looks weird. Hey, okay, it's fine. As long as it's not what it was before. Wait, did I ac accidentally sell the lava lamp? No, it's here. Is it a different rice cooker? That's the question. No. Same one. Let me see. No, wait, Leaf is here. Yeah, well, what's this I hear about you having some kind of special project? I was hoping you might be producing a low budget yet artistically groundbreaking feature film. And so I dropped everything to get my headshots updated. Then I found out you've been working behind the scenes to get KK a gig on Shamblonia. That's even cooler, honk honk. Kudos to you. You clearly take this whole resident representative thing pretty seriously. In fact, your dedication inspired me to get something for you. Recognize this? They call it a garden lantern. Okay. It's actually very nice. Thank you. I'm sure there'll be plenty of time for that stuff. Jeez, I mean, this whole flower thing, it's certainly going to be a process. It's a 
Ooh. I might try to make that. Let's see. The advantage of this is I can see what's not a fruit tree easily. Okay, this for example can go. Oh crap. It's begun. I don't want to get too distracted at the same time. This is the first time I've gotten this. the sound. I'm not going to get anything done today. I think there's a maximum number. Let me look this up. Awesome. Waiting around. Media shell, that's the one. Okay, in New Horizons. Okay, so 20 is... 20, at least 20. You can get more if someone's visiting, but 20 is the hard cap. Too many trees over here. collecting these. Yeah, here's another cluster of trees I don't need. I'm just stockpiling these miles up.
put all my goals for today anyway. Sell a hot item. DIY, grow fruit tree. Ugh. They're not great goals. Look, I've already got a crowding problem. Or something weird. I'm curious if I can visit myself. I get the other switch and then get myself to visit myself. I don't think it's possible. It's two different people, technically. I think I got enough spring bamboo. <laughs> I get the feeling that event might be over. It has been a couple days, so there might be bamboo. I should catch this. Just get the five out of the way. making something. Oh, this is a nice looking house. Nice of you stopped by, but I'm kind of preoccupied right now. What are you making? I'm currently crafting a spooky tower just to see how I do it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. 
Want to learn how to make your own spooky towel? Sure. Okay. Pumpkin. Ah, that might be why Leaf is here. He's still around, right? Yeah, he's still around for a little bit. They heard the star. Anything else? Bulk. Stop! <laughs> the, moment it's, the moment I start talking, this happens. Come on! Come on, <laughs> do the star thing. Now I'm looking, three of them happened when I had that conversation. There's four different colors in there random once you plant. Yeah. Oh, so I'm gonna get a few and then I guess just get a few colors, hopefully. Okay. The moment I start talking to him, the star's gonna happen. Oh, it's a recipe for a hedge. Nice. Shop. Just gotta hurry. I know where I'm gonna put them. It's like, what, 20 now? No, that's it. Just less conversation. Spooky tower. Speaking of Halloween, after like all this time, I'm gonna try and play The Last of Us for this Halloween. It's like something I've been wanting to do for years, but the problem is, multiple times it's just been derailed for some reason. But at least now, if I have the remake, what do you want, Phil? Feeling tired in terms of reactions, this one really packs a punch. You see, you just... Oh, my eyelids are getting heavy. Boom, acting. I'm actually wide awake. Anyway, feel free to try dozing whenever you want. Now, if you don't mind, that macro nap actually felt pretty good, so... Hold on. While you're here, Phil. You lose this. I really want this to be his. I can't, it was right there, like what? It was right here. 
What do you mean? You didn't see it on the ground? That looks like the novel I was reading. I must have dropped it somewhere. Yeah, like right in front of you right now. It's so cool of you to find that for me, so hopefully you'll think this is cool. I hope you love your brand new cardigan shirt combo as much as I did, Will. My friend, did you just drop this on purpose to get my attention? I'm gonna go put on pants. But, okay. At least clothing. Thing was right in front of him. Like, how absent minded is he? I mean, we all. Oh, yeah, hey, 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 hey. Got it. We all have our moments. But that to me seemed like attention, yeah. I'm not sure how many I'm up to, but I just need to do 20. <laughs> 20 is the cap. Unless you have people visiting with them, it's like per person visiting you get more. my money tree in the background. that the clothing store's already closed. Play. Hoping that I buy a suit for the clown. That's a very good one to have. I have plenty of stones, so... Hey, Messiah, how's it going? Alright, uh... Hang on, I'll put stuff away first. I should probably put on pants, huh?
I don't really have much of a choice of items here. As far as colored pants go, the only pants I have are the pink ones, so fine. <laughs> I don't really have normal shoes either. Like, I have nothing. Guess this is fine for now. How's my weekend? It was alright. Uh, it was nice to have the Friday off. But then I forgot about daylight savings and that kind of fucked me up a little sleep-wise. Just, just a little bit. But it's nice that the sun doesn't go down until basically 8 o'clock now, so. Feels like I get more out of a day. Just, admittedly, it's kind of crappy for time zones. Especially when America gets to do theirs soon. It just means there's more of a gap. Daylight savings is annoying. Yeah, I mean, I hope they get rid of it one day. It's just one of those things that... It's, it's less relevant. It made sense when our lives... I guess, relied more on the sun. Not anymore. That's, that's long gone. I'm gonna make a pumpkin patch here, but later. I put the starters away. How was your weekend, Messiah? Did you work a lot this weekend, or did you get a chance to chill? I started playing Pikmin for the first time yesterday. It's fun, but the <laughs> controlling all those little things uh, stresses me out sometimes. I'm doing my best to not let some of them die, but I think it's a lost cause. Just, I feel bad when I leave one behind. They, uh, they don't make it easy to keep alive. A lot of work made a good amount of money so you don't have to work for this month. Damn, that's nice. What are you gonna do? They're fine. I don't know, brown pants. Relaxing and having fun will enjoy. I've been debating about taking a week before the holiday season. I'm not sure. Ugh. 
What? How did that miss? Honestly, not that long to go, so I could probably hold out till then. Any plans for Halloween? Uh, not really. We don't really do Halloween here in Australia. I mean, it happens, just it's not as big. Okay, well, that's new. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anyone that's doing anything, but maybe last minute sometimes stuff comes up. fossils today. I didn't play yesterday. I should have two more. Oh, I didn't get these trees. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to Halloween. Just go through my clothing. Like, yeah. Like, I have a poncho and I have a sombrero, and I just usually default to that. Because it's just easy. But if I ever get the chance to go as something. I guess I'll probably dress up as Wario for once. I've never done that before. Which is surprising. I think the issue is just getting a costume because I'm tall. Most of the costumes they have are for children or like people that aren't as tall. Plan on doing a big party with costumes will be fun. Yeah. I mean, I like the idea of Halloween parties. I'm not a party pooper by any means. That's <laughs> just more of a. It's just, I guess. Less of a thing outside of America. It just happens. It exists, just not to the sa same extent. Self-made costume? Oh, damn. Yeah, I don't have the talent or the dedication to do something like that. In high school, they taught us how to sew and use sewing machines and that sort of stuff. What's the subject called? I think it was called textiles. But anyway, obviously I retained none of it. But at a, at a certain point, I did learn how to use a sewing machine and do stitching and that sort of shit. Just, I guess, never got to really take it beyond that, because it was just a compulsory subject for some weird reason. Yeah, a full month without work to decide how you want to dress. Well, yeah, you can be as detailed as you want. Do you have any ideas yet?
Oh, right, it's one of these dolls. Oh, that's all that is. Okay, I have enough to make that. <laughs> that's it's kind of cute, that. I like that. But I don't have the pumpkins for it yet. Where's the flimsy net? I've gone past- ugh. Just never recognized the look. No, still inspiration. In process. <laughs> That's fair. fossil somewhere. I was watching a video earlier with some dude was going over the website what's the shopping site name like timu or something but it's just knockoffs they get from china pretty much and the dude was looking for a halloween costume because the like, same problem as me is just most of the ones they sell in store are too small and there is some cursed shit there like <laughs> some of the mario outfits oh man they come with, with a head and it just doesn't look right or well, the colors are wrong just the way they label them because they don't want to get into trouble they just name them something like fantasy dinosaur male adult costume super special party dinosaur costume and of course that uh, you see a picture of a Yoshi or a bootleg Yoshi Well, they misspell it like Pokachu instead of Pikachu. Okay, good. I guess that's what I would have to resort to if I were to do a Wario thing. I'd have to get a bootleg ass costume. Or... Hmm. Maybe it doesn't have to be the traditional, like... I guess it depends how hard it is. I would just need, like, a motorcycle helmet. The warrior wear outfit would be easier to pull off because it's just normal clothing. I'm thinking about a costume for a party that I have yet to go to. <laughs> or be invited to. That's fine. Where is fo Oh, ugh, it's this thing. Hello? What is it doing? What the hell? Why is it stuck? Oh, now it moves. Stay there. You asshole. <laughs> it's, it's messing with me.
Oh, I found the other fossil. Cool. Okay, I just have to be that. Come here. Got it. Yeah, no, thank you. That thing looks like a cockroach. Kill, yeah. Those kind of bugs, no thanks. But it'll go to the museum for a good cause. First fossils. Okay. So there's some stuff to donate. Let's learn about this this thing. Yeah, a giant water bug. What a wretched thing. A last time of life's last. Would you like to learn more about the specimen? Go on. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. How to put this gently. Ah, yes. Beware the giant water bug. I tell you, this vicious predator has been known to attack fish, frogs, and even snakes. Snakes! Truth be told, no one is safe. Its nickname is the toe bite. Ugh. I hate it even more now. For goodness sake. Now, one final fact before I faint. The gruesome bug uses its nose to inject its prey with digestive juices. Ugh. Must stop thinking about the unthinkable. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Gugh. Jewel beetle. The green shimmer of the jewel beetle's wings is nothing short of nauseating, yes? No? Well, so says you. Though jewel beetles were once prized by collectors who turned their iridescent wings into pretty jewelry. Why anyone would want to wear bug parts on their body is beyond me. Beyond me. Fashion foul indeed. I mean, shiny is shiny. Shark tooth pattern, diny torso. Okay, shark tooth pattern. I never thought I'd lay my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Go. This shark tooth pattern comes from the lower jaw of an ancient shark of the genus. Helicoprion? Helicoprion? Jeez, I'm butchering that. Its teeth seem to have grown in a distinctive arrangement rather than disturbingly termed a tooth wall. I say seem because shark skeletons are made not of bone, but cartilage, except for their teeth. Consequently, their bodies are never preserved as fossils, and questions about their jaws remain unanswered. The size and placement in the stone of the shark's teeth are actually the only things we have to work with. Sometimes in research we must maintain a stiff upper lip, even when the- even in the absence of a stiff upper lower jaw. Okay. I actually knew that about sharks. <laughs> That's probably one of the only pieces of information from school, like some excursion we went to an aquarium. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably not gonna read it. I just feel b bad telling Blathers no. It's the cousin of the Velociraptor. Both predators were distinguished by their tail claws. They also likely had feathers. The difference was the size. 
Oh, okay. So it's bigger than Velociraptor. Alright, cool. <laughs> I've read that twice, so... Paraphrasing. Last one. Wait, no, I don't... <sighs> Donate. Iguanodon torso. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask <laughs> Messiah if you were affected by the, the floods at all. I just remember, oh, what was it, on Sunday, just seeing videos of just New York and the insane level of water everywhere. The same thing happens to Melbourne if it goes extreme rain. Hasn't happened in a long time, but the main street of Melbourne City, there's a creek flowing under it, and pretty much if it rains to an extreme amount, uh, the city floods. Which is probably not the best thing. Like you said, you had the wet Friday. Oh, I must have missed that sentence, sorry. Yeah, understatement. <laughs> When it happened here, I mean, it was a long time ago, but to get to my job at the time would take just five minute drive up the road. Because of how things flooded, that road became a river, like a massive river at that. And that five minute drive became a two hour drive just because of how far away I had to go from it to come back in. So I couldn't work for a little while. Kinda got lucky in that flood. The two suburbs right next to where I lived. Cars were just completely on the water. Houses were just messed up. But not where I was, it was just perfectly on a hill. Or a large enough hill that it didn't really affect us. There's something to be sad about it, is like... Here in Australia we're getting record heats. Temperatures that we'd see in December, not now. Like, we're told this is summer stuff that's happening here. Five minutes before they're close, so I need to sell stuff quickly. <laughs> you were lucky too, didn't have to sail to work. <laughs> yeah. I had a co worker that um, had a canoe and he used the canoe to get to work. <laughs> Just to be funny. He used a canoe on what used to be a road. I mean, I I guess it was two things. I was glad that I didn't need to go to work, but at the same time, it was like, well, I need money. <laughs> so it wasn't a great couple of weeks. I had to be like a little more stingy with money. But 
That was back in my days of having to work retail. I need to make... how much time have I got? Okay, okay. I need to make the hot item. Got two minutes. Where's garden stone? That one. need to be in the before it closes because otherwise they kick you out. Okay. I mean I got plenty of these like this is not gonna run out. Does this game not have just let me craft five at once? Last time I played this, I went through almost 200 pieces of bait to catch a fish, and it, it sucked. <laughs> I had to collect basically 200 clams and then go through this 200 times almost. I was so tired of the sound effect by the end of the evening. Okay. Gotta be quick. I got one minute. Hold on. Let me dismiss this just in case there's like a cell right behind it. Spend knock miles, okay. Well. They're about to close. Hurry up. <laughs> Okay. Not bad. Oh. Well, that's fine. That's gonna happen anyway. Um, as much as we enjoy your company, it's past our closing hours for today, but we'll look forward to seeing you again another time, another time. If only that was reality. <laughs> if only that was reality, just instantly, at the time your shop is about to close, customers just leave instantly. Particularly in retail. That's not the case. Yeah, just immediately the, the siren goes off. Armed guards come out and they're like, TIME TO LEAVE! <laughs> but no, that's... Pretty accommodating. I'm going to try to be neat here. Um, 
one more. Because there's a bunch of recipes that involve pumpkins. I probably should have bought more, but I think Leaf has stopped selling as well. He's gone now, right? Yeah, he's gone. Ah! <laughs> he's gone. He packed his shit up and left. What do you mean? What if someone wants to garden at 10 o'clock at night? You're telling me I have to wait now? Well, I... I guess the only way I can do this and be symmetrical at... Oh no, but I only have two. I can't even be symmetrical about this. Nah, it's fine. It doesn't bother me too much. Like, this is at least even. Or I could take... Hang on. There's no way to get symmetry in this. Move four. Yeah, no, let's just leave it, it's fine. Hopefully that'll be enough. Now the only thing I haven't done No 24-7 service, I know, right? <laughs> Mind you, if anyone wanted gardening supplies at 10 o'clock at night, I'd be concerned about what they're growing. I don't think you get many old... Old people going and needing needing gardening supplies at ten o'clock at night. Oh, I've already done this one. Pumpkins. <laughs> oh, I see. Pumpkins. A Halloween emergency. Probably got another bridge built somewhere. Or a ramp, maybe. It's just I'm not too fuss with the ramps. Currently, this is in the way. to think of just a scenario like why would anyone want garden supplies at 10 o'clock at night <laughs> I'm fixated on that I'm trying to justify the need for it okay some gar some gardening centers do sell um like fresh herbs like maybe maybe they just want that and the supermarkets run out of them so they go to a 24-hour gardening center to get a plant 
So then they don't have that problem again. I don't know. Hey, Liquorson, how's it going? I'm just talking to myself about a garden center that would be open past 10 o'clock at night just because the dude that sells gardening stuff left and I needed some more stuff, so. You got a hiccup? Oh no. Do you hiccup a lot when you get one or is it just like a, a once-off thing? I know someone that once they get hiccups, they're hiccuping for, for almost half an hour. Oh, shooting stop. Hang on. Guess the tickles did help. Virtual tickles, there you go. Cure for hiccups. Shooting star, there we go. I haven't been keeping count, but I'm just gonna do it. I should have hopefully gotten about 20 by now. Most exciting thing, but uh, once they start, I need to make sure I get 20. Is that it? I know the moment I walk, it's gonna start again. I think I'm in the clear. Pretty stars. Yeah, it gets pretty nice like that here. Especially if you drive out to where there's not really as much town or people. Hopefully I get a lot of the big stars tomorrow. I first time I'm getting them for this file. Uh okay, what else do I wanna do? Now that the store's closed, it kinda restricts what I can do now. I should try and get the uh the thing for Stoner Otter. Have you ever been that tired that you're like that at work? I was a little bit like that this morning because of the daylight savings thing. That's like shanty. You had times when you were tired and nodding off because nothing ha was happening. Yeah. I mean, jobs where you just have to sit there or stand there whilst nothing is happening is, is not the greatest. Actually, I need to, I should hang on to like about 20,000. 
Alright, getting there. I remember once when I was in my youth. Wait, what is this? Brick flooring? Oh, those are kind of good. I mean, I'll take these just so I have them. Just had a night out one night and then pretty much got off the train and went straight to work. And I thought, oh, if it's busy enough, it'll it'll keep us awake. That's what me and my friend thought. And then it was the, the most quiet day ever. Basically no one turned up for the first hour and a half. Customer wise and we were we were struggling. Oh man. It's, it's far, far worse when you're in that state. Let's store these since we can't sell anyway. already have daylight savings. Yeah, I mean, everywhere is, is different. I think Europe and America are pretty close together, but... Southern Hemisphere works a little different. Yep, that's... the time of year where... It's, it's so, so much of a gap in time zones. They don't want to do the same thing that Britain was doing. Well, that, probably that, but also it just doesn't make sense because the sun works differently here. Just in terms of the hours that it's up. We got a lot of sun. Yeah, this time of year, particularly Central Australia, the amount of sun available for a day is is a lot. And that's why a lot of companies um, to test solar stuff in particular, they do it in Australia. Because we have a lot of sun uptime. Like, you know, you know in winter how in Europe you get the sun up only for a small amount of time? It's the opposite in Australia. In summer it's up for the opposite of that percentage. <laughs> no. Instead of the depressing winter, we get the... the sunlight that Europe doesn't have. <laughs> In a way, yeah, we kind of did steal the sunlight. Like today, for instance, the sun did not go down until about 8.30. It's becoming summer for us. Yeah. Yeah, it's spring at the moment. But the temperatures are already feeling like summer. Let me do some... What can I do? Knock my wires. Eh. Maybe chopping wood's probably a good idea. Uh, first I'm gonna... Do the stone otter quest. Oh right, I think it's yellow in there. I was so confused. Okay. 
I'm hoping I get this quickly. Because I can't sell anything right now. How dark is winter? Uh, winter... Sun goes down at about 5 or 6 p.m. Between that hour. It's not too bad. It doesn't get dark. Certainly not, like, European... Scandinavian dark. Yeah, here... That's still fine. Sun rises at about, what, like, 7... Oh, this is new. Seven or eight in the morning. And then it's down by... Five or six p.m. Somewhere between that hour. I don't know how I'll do with just having that much... Darkness. Yeah, I need to probably sneak up on this next one. Welk is a thing. Yeah, it's a sea snail. I don't know if the thing in Genshin would be the same thing, but it's just a sea snail. Oh, there we go. Stone Otter. Hey, man, about that scallop of yours. Can I have it? Sure. Oh, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. Snakes don't have any limbs, but on the other hand, limbs don't have any snakes either, man. Consider yourself truthed. Yep, today is a good day. This little, this little otter reminds me of my cousin. He just says stuff like that sometimes. But he doesn't do it to try and truth someone. It's just like an existential crisis. I wish he would pop up a second time, but... It's deep knowledge. I got a pearl again. Life was changed once you found out the upper jaw never moves, only the lower one. <laughs> There's some stuff like that where you wouldn't think about it. Well, it says, isn't it also that your eyes don't change in size or something as well? There's like certain parts of your body that don't ever grow. I don't remember if it's the eyes, but it's something along those lines. Oh, okay. Your nose and ears keep growing, that's why old people have big noses and ears. Makes sense. I 
I guess I'll just fill up my inventory. I'll just have it all on my character and the next time I play this I'll sell it. There might be some new secret of things. I've already gotten a couple, so I should go donate them. You technically brush your skeleton when you brush your teeth. <laughs> You still have to. more space have I got? Okay. I think I changed my mind just a little bit. I kind of wish Australia got these kind of trees, but this is a very Japanese thing. on fire far as on things that's like the question is if if you put a drop of water on something does it become wetter if you put a second drop of water on it or is it just wet like oh it's something along those lines it's like can you make something wetter and there's two trains of thought. It's like, once something is wet, it is wet. It does not get wetter. It's just a state of on or off. But then the other piece is like, if you pour one liquid into another liquid, are you making the liquid wet? Like putting water on top of oil. There's, so there's some science explanation that says you can technically it's just one of those things where it's like language versus science one is talking about it in a sense of terminology and the other one is like well the concept of wet in science It's like the whole thing of how many how many holes does a, a donut have? I would not be able to do it justice, but there are there are so many videos on that topic. Just those existential crisis questions. Okay, the chambered Nautilus is perhaps best known for its gorgeous shell. Not only does the shell's interior shine with a pearly luster, it features a nearly perfect natural spiral. But those aren't the chamber Nautilus's only bragging rights. This cephalopod can have up to 90 tentacles. It's 
said. These arms come coated with a sticky substance that helps the Nautilus capture its prey. Which is far better than using them for overly long hugs, I say. Your stomach thinks all potatoes are mashed. You know what my favorite thing you've said, Cat? And it's become the, one of my BRB quotes, you should know it. Is that a worm is all butt. <laughs> well, it is. It's not saying it's not, I'm just saying I, I like it, that's all. Alright, I'm gonna just make sure these trees are safe before approaching them with an axe, because I want- I need more wood, I'm running out of a particular kind of wood. So just need to make sure that there's no hidden wasp nest. I think I've seen all the time combos on the clock. Probably not. As I'd be focused on time on... When... Yeah. Unless I sat there and watched a clock for 12 hours straight without looking at anything else I doubt I have. Because I'd be only focusing on the time when, like, say, something I'm looking forward to is approaching or something that I want to get out of hasn't ended yet. So, those are, it's a very small window when it comes to all the time possibilities. It'd be like a bell curve, I think. Alright, it's safe. Like, there would be heavy emphasis on... 3 o'clock, because that would have represented school. 5 o'clock for work, maybe 8 o'clock for time to leave in the morning. Oh. Lunch time, dinner time. But then, later on it probably would die down. You just wouldn't have times where you would bother to look at a clock. Should be able to craft on. Oh, I just need normal wood, which I don't have. Huh, I, I, don't, I never got that on my old file. There's some stuff that I'm seeing that I've never gotten. I might make a second one, because I got the feeling this one's gonna run out by the time I get through chopping what I want to chop. Okay. 
Oh, the swim suit keeps getting moved. Uh, I can put this away into storage. Okay. Back to wood cutting. I've never seen your face directly, just in pictures and reflections. Yeah, that's true. I mean, another one is just your memory is always reconstructive. It thought your your brain doesn't reproduce things one to one. Like no matter how good you remember something, it's just all, you're always recon trying to reconstruct what happened. Someone's gonna have an existential crisis over these messages. Just maybe not today, but someone will watch, wanting to chill out. And you know they might do certain things to chill out, but then these conversations will be like, "Holy shit, man, they're right." I've never seen your own face. Others have. Yeah, pretty much. How did Nudis clean their glasses? What do you mean? Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Are we on to jokes now? <laughs> or is this a question? It's like, Nudis aren't naked all the time, I don't think. I've never met a Nudis, so I don't know, but also... Usually grab the end of the shirt. I don't. I... Aren't you supposed to use like a microfiber cloth? That you keep in the case. I mean, that's how I would clean it. I'd have a microfiber cloth in the cl case. I'm sure a nudist would have to carry around, like, the case with the microfiber. I mean, they would still have a bag or a, a purse or something. Like, just because you're naked doesn't mean you can't have something to carry around stuff. I don't know any nudists, but I think that's how they would operate. <laughs> or just get a square piece of fabric and then just use some tape and put it on your body so then it forms a pocket. So then you have like this, this little pouch effectively. Another diner so far. Whoa, dark! Oh, damn it! <laughs> I was standing still. Ah. Oh. So that just suddenly appeared. Well, I got something else to hunt for. That was unfortunate. That was just bad timing. It was off camera. I should probably look for that. Sorry, I'll keep chopping. I'm 
terrible at catching bugs in this game. So, if glasses count as articles of clothing, like let's just sunglasses for example, is the nudist naked? Are they completely naked when they wear sunglasses? more of an accessory still what if you wear a scarf a scarf is an accessory would that mean you're naked if you wear a scarf or not naked the asteroid that ended the dinosaurs technically has the highest ratio of killing birds to one stone in earth's history that feels like a joke from one of those comedians that are just extremely literal with their humor. Mm. If you had nothing but a scarf, you'd say you're naked. Hmm. about scarf and a pair of gloves like at what point do enough accessories stop you from being naked like let's let's take this further there has to be a tipping point where you're wearing enough accessories that you're no longer naked or is, is the measure here like whether or not you know sensitive parts are exposed is, is that it that's what classifies nudity If you wear underwear, you're not naked. Right. So I could I could wear... Basically, if I'm not wearing underwear, and everything from below the waist down is visible, no matter how much clothing I wear above, I'm naked. So, like, if I put on, for example, a beanie, a snow jacket, uh, two sets of gloves, a scarf... But then, you know, completely exposed below the waist, I'm naked. Snow jacket's a piece of clothing, not accessories. Okay. Just checking. What if I made a jacket out of scarves? Like, wrap a scarf around my body. And, you know, just keep wrapping it around so it forms sort of like a protective layer made out of scarves. Then they're making a piece of clothing out of accessories. But they're not together. That's, they're still separate entities. It's not like I'm sewing them together to make a piece of clothing. It's just I'm wearing 12 scarves. Like, they're, they're, they're by no means joints. Like, I can take each one of them off individually. <laughs> it's just, it's... At a certain point, you know, a certain number of scarves become clothing. Ooh. 
This is almost like the, the hot dog is a sandwich thing. It's just I'm trying to ascertain that like a scarf is a piece of clothing. Let's see. Yeah. I got a bunch of hardwood. It's good. I gotta put this away. I need to look for that Atlas moth now, otherwise it's gonna bother me. What about body paint? Like, let's say a completely painted head to toe. not clothing, would you consider them naked still? Because that's been a point of contention on streaming services, like if people do body art like that, are they still nude? I guess because it classifies as art. I don't know. Naked with paint. Okay, uh, I'm gonna look for this Atlas Moth, hopefully. Also, I guess get some of these. freaked out when you saw the atlas moth for the first time, scared you. Because you don't like moths. <laughs> and it's so gigantic. I just can't believe it flew away, like I wasn't moving and it, I thought I had it scared it, but then it just, there was a bit of a delay and it flew away. more shooting stars. Jesus, it already... It feels like it's only 10pm for me right now. This, this, the first few days of daylight savings in summer is just brutal for me. It does not feel this late. Damn it. Ah! I didn't get the camera rotation. Alright, let me wait, let me wait. I'm hoping collectively across the last two hours I've gotten 20. Should probably run around without the net for a while. I don't think I've ever seen a bug that big. Despite living in Australia, contrary to popular belief, you don't always run into gigantic bugs here. But I haven't- the biggest thing I've run into is a bumblebee. Because we don't have them on, um, mainland, it's only in the island state. So on a trip down there once, very early in the morning, got up, was having coffee and breakfast. And then I see this this thing, like the size of a golf ball, flying towards me. It scared the fucking shit out of me. Um, but it was a bumblebee. And supposedly they're docile, but I don't know. 
Yeah. It's just this, this golf ball blur. That's the largest bug I've encountered naturally. I don't count the zoo. Second would probably be the tarantula that, that jumped at me once, but that wasn't that big. I can't imagine running into the meme spiders and <laughs> the gigantic moth. I do that. Stop. I'm doing it again. I'll look for this for a little bit. This is not too much of a rush to do so, since it's the start of the month, so I'm sure I've got plenty of time. I do want to play either Pikmin or Wario, so I need to make time for that. Might have to go indoors just to get outside to reset. I will give it ten minutes of looking. That should be enough. I just need to walk a little slower. I'm not sure I ever finished the bug collection on my first islands. <laughs> I'm just terrible at catching bugs. I just because I'm running around everywhere, and they're so easy to spook. Nothing else will amass these. <laughs> I'm 
by the way, Kat, if you're gonna watch, like, the stream from last time... I don't know, yesterday or the day before... Just... Don't be afraid to skip to the very end. There's a reason the thumbnail is what it is, because that is pretty much all I did. <laughs> to have when they're about to sleep. Okay. Well, just in, just in case. Just... That's why I didn't play it yesterday. <laughs> after, after all I had to do. I just didn't want to look at this game for at least 24 hours. Best luck and the worst luck. It doesn't even out. It's just that's just how I am. Doesn't seem like it wants to give me this Atlas mark. Even more curious, I haven't really seen many bugs. I'll see if staying inside for like a minute changes them. I'm prepared next time. Oh, it's just this. I've sold most of the other stuff. Alright, cool. It's just so I'm prepared to sell next time. I haven't looked at the list of stuff I need to get in October. This is surely nothing, right? Oh, well, now it's nothing. I'm <laughs> not. Just no good at it. It was so much easier in New Leaf. I don't even think I'm gonna go for the 100 in a row thing. I think I'll go insane if I try. the bugs. I bet I ran into the one moth <laughs> that's gonna appear for the next two hours. Or something along those lines. I haven't really thought out about what I'm going to do on these cliffs. Like I 
I'm almost, almost tempted to flatten the whole island, ultimately. I scared that away on purpose. Or just leave one little cliff part, but then the rest be flat. Oh shit. Okay, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. We're fine, we're fine, we're f No, we're not. Climb the ladder, climb the ladder, climb the fucking ladder. Okay, I think we're fine. It's probably still down there. I didn't even hear it. <laughs> okay. Where is it? This is, is it still chasing? Do you think it's still chasing me? Low ground? Okay, I'm safe. I'm curious if it's still there. I don't see it. <laughs> well, I wanted to know where all the bugs went. Okay, I'm ready for it. I'm listening very carefully. I'm not even sure where it was. I think it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> I wanted to turn around and try and catch it, but I couldn't find a good angle on it. Alright, well I gave it ten more minutes. Did not find another one. One last look. I'll catch this just so it gets rid of one bug. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be sad if I run into it now. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got one too many, it's fine. Just needs to catch one. Mm. 
one last lap. Wait, is this even safe? I don't think that's... Ah, oh, it looks okay. That's yeah, fine. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad I waited. Oh, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. Over there. Over there. Oh, that's awkward. That's in a really awkward spot. Oh, shit. Okay. Just take my time. Two steps, pause. Two steps, pause. And just rinse and repeat. I need to be facing it front on. So afraid it's gonna it's gonna go. Okay. <laughs> Done. Patience paid off. Moth, what a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about the specimen? Yes. Uh, I see. In that case, ahem. The Atlas Moth is a monstrous thing. Not only is it one of the largest moths in the world, the tips of its wings look rather like the heads of venomous snakes. Despite its largeness and loathsome looks, the adult Atlas Moth lives only for a few days. It emerges from its cocoon without a mouth, you see, and so cannot eat. I feel for the poor thing, but it is still foul. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. No. Okay. I wonder what would, what would happen if one day there was a moth that appeared with a mouth. Just how dangerous that would be. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, that's the thought I'm gonna leave you on. Solid two hours. But I also want to play Wario, so I'm gonna switch to that now. But if you've reached the end here and you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around and hope you enjoyed. If you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just click buttons that have that thumbs up on them, it helps the channel out a lot. So thank you to those that do do that. Or you can watch one of the other two videos that have probably popped up by now. If you want to see me do other things. Yeah, till next time. Bye, YouTube.